This video is about switching images from raster to vector in Illustrator. Uh, I have a visual artist named Amy Erickson who sometimes sends me things she needs help with. Um, she draws things organically and then tries to um, vectorize things if she needs to. So uh, that's what we're going to try and do now. Just go up to um, Illustrator, select your object first, go up to the object menu, go down to live trace, go down to tracing options and you'll get this dialog box come up. I'm just moving this out of the way so I can see the key points of detail in the image that I want to maintain when I vectorize. Uh, this cut part of bread is the bit I'm going to be mostly looking at. It changes the most when you change things. So um, switch the preview on and you get uh, a vectorized preview. Now this is black and white and I'm going to try and maintain the colors. So uh, Also here's a tip. Switch, uh, switch ignore white on there and that just um, doesn't render the white objects, it leaves them blank and it just makes this section a little bit quicker. So up here on the left, change black and white to color. It re-renders that and now we have roughly color. But as you can see, these uh, textured parts are a little bit crude when I switch off the preview and back on. And that's okay, but the artist might want that to be a bit better. So um, also I'll re reduce the colors and we'll see how far we can get. Now we're five colors, going down to four three and I believe that's as far as we can go when we're black and white. So we got back to three colors, maybe back to four that has some grays. And now over here in path fitting, I'll just take that um, two pixel path, take that back to one, put in a tiny touch more detail. Oops, I accidentally pressed a button there. Let's take the minimum area down to one pixel. It takes a little while to render. Now as you can see that texture in the cut slice of bread is a lot more organic looking. It's looking less fake and um, computerized. So um, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to switch the preview on and off for you so you can see the difference. There's the raster version and there's the vector version. It's looking pretty good and that is going to be probably printed on a CD or something much smaller so the people aren't going to see the difference. And uh, I hope Amy the artist that drew this um, will still like the vector version. Now, um, if you're going to be doing a lot of drawings that have the exact same style or anything, you can use these presets. So I use those quite a bit. And uh, here's another tip: you can set those presets up in um, as an action in Illustrator. So you don't have to actually go through things. You just play the action; it'll run the preset. That makes things run a bit faster. So then all you do is click trace, um, and then you need to. Uh, one people forget is to expand. And then you've got a fully vectorized um, version of what was previously just a raster that was probably scanned or photographed. From there, you can use your live trace tool uh, and go through and change colors if you want and tweak things and move things around. Okay, thanks very much. Good luck.